I think we're here early, Barb. Yeah, we are. There are lock boxes and stuff, and I can't find the information on my email where it says uh, what our login is. Or, but we're here too early anyway, so uh, we probably have to just wait. But I'm going to go for a walk and find out if there's anything we can do. <laughs> because so as it turns out, I should have checked my email this morning. Let's walk down to the coffee shop. I got a coffee here for Barbara for her. Like she's waiting at the house there. Well, there was a message asking us, asking me what time we were expecting to arrive there. So I just answered them saying that uh, <laughs> we're already there, but that it's not a big deal if we have to wait a while. So we'll see what happens. I guess somebody's gonna show up and well, I should have really checked my email and uh, really what I probably should do is get a Mexican SIM card. So this is our new place. I got back here, Barbara was already in the room. Well, now I got the big job of going back to our other place because the bike is still there. That's gonna be maybe a four kilometer walk. I'm not sure, maybe it could be even be five. I'm not totally sure, but somebody's gotta do it and I don't mind it. So it's a um, good thing I fixed it yesterday so I can actually ride this thing along the Malecon. There's like a nice bike lane all the way. It's just, we're on a hill here. So coming up this hill might be another story. I got quite the way down. It's pretty steep here. I don't know how we're gonna manage with bikes, but yeah, it's cobblestone anyway. So there won't be any going fast. It'll have to be just little by little, maybe even pushing the bikes. Muy bien, gracias. Right, the neighborhood kind of like it. Yeah, it's interesting here. It looks like the road at some point collapsed and it's Part of it's in the river there. There's a whole retaining wall that came down by the looks of it. Okay, I'm back on a good sidewalk. Now it's, there's a sign there. I, uh, trabajos municipales, pero excuse the uh, inconvenience or something like that. They're working on it. They're working on the retaining wall. I bet you by the end of the week there, it's going to be all brand new. Yeah, I'm already disoriented. But I think just by following this, it's got to lead me somewhere. That's an adventure, I'm telling you. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. So the trick is go along the river all the way because that river, you kind of know where it goes. So yeah, I just talked to a guy and uh, mentioned bicycle and he said, for him, bicycle wouldn't work around here because cobblestone and then it's very hilly here too. So, you know, it, it's probably hard on the bike. Now I am I have my doubts too, to be honest with you, because Barbara, I don't know if she's gonna manage 
uh, with that little bike up those hills, but we've been to Colombia before and you would be surprised how much cycling uphill she can actually handle. And then, uh, well, we also share the task of pushing the bikes when it's necessary. So, yeah, we'll just go with the flow and see what happens. Once I get to the ocean, there's only one way to go. I gotta turn right and then like it's about four kilometers from there, sort of. But see, it's a little bit of effort to walk all this without knowing. And I kind of almost got lost back there a little bit. But this is how I learned how to get around town. Bet you it's not going to take me long to get back up there once I got the bike, even though the bike's not my size. It's just funny, but I, I enjoy stuff like that. So all of a sudden I know exactly where I'm at and I actually have to walk less than Barbara and I did the other day because I can see exactly where we were. The American election. They're cashing in on it here with tourist t-shirts. I'm a lot closer to where I need to go. I feel like I know exactly where I'm going now, but uh, I'm not, never gonna pretend like I know everything about this place or I know where everything is. Just wanted to say that the place I showed you earlier where Barbara is waiting now, we've got it for a week. That is seven days, seven nights. Online costs us $404 Canadian, which is, I think is not bad for what it is. It, it seems quite fair. The one thing that uh, we'll have to see is how quiet is it is at night. I think probably gonna be good that way. I think it looks like New Orleans. So far I see a bike lane going all the way along this road and that's why I keep walking this way until I'm confident that I can turn right. That's how I'm doing it. my first actual real bike ride on this bike not my bike and Barbara's bike but it works yay I'm much faster than walking this goes pretty good definitely worked but over there I first I had to spend like 15 minutes waiting for the guy that I thought had the key and then it turned out he didn't have the key at all so I had to yell up so the lady we met this morning who's from uh, St. Louis Missouri staying there her balcony door was open so I was able to yell up there and get her attention so she opened the door for me because I was locked out because we had to check out at one o'clock. I think the bike lane ends here, goes into the street. So I'm just gonna take my time here riding along the Malecon. This is not bad. What you doing, George? Peel the eggs. Peel the eggs. Yeah, peel the eggs. Oh, what you got all here? <laughs> Well, I got some avocado, tomato, cheese. We got this nice bread that we got from the Ocho. Oh, yeah. Um, thing is, with the cooking here, we have to we have to figure out that that cooking plate. 
there's one side of it that is always on full blast as soon as you plug it in. The other side you can regulate, but once you know all that, then it's like it's okay. You can use it the way it works, right? But the first time I melted the cord, not Oops. completely, thank goodness, I noticed the smoke before it got totally destroyed. Yeah, we got a quite a good place here. I mean, it's so comfortable. So you've seen me do that. This is where we dump our garbage. It's not pollution because this is where you're supposed to put it. It's uh, the truck that comes here at night. So then uh, it picks up all the garbage that people put there only in this corner. Yeah, there's no sidewalk here because of the parking that's here like a ton of cars parked here but there's a nice sidewalk over there and it's shady that's what I'm after because and this hill is actually quite steep but walking on the sidewalk here makes it a whole lot easier I can <laughs> run up this hill <laughs> At these stairs too. Here's a common area. We've uh, been using this laundry sink to do our laundry manually. There's also a washing machine. Now when you first walk through the door, you'll see the sink it appears to be brand new. There's a window here looking out the back. Yeah, there is a flat screen TV, but we haven't used it at all and it may not even be functional because when I tried it, I couldn't figure it out. The bed is really comfortable and then there's night table. Now I'm showing the bathroom. Uh, there's no toilet seat, but you know, I think it's kind of standard when you have a shower like this so close. See that thing on the shower? It's actually a water heater. So we got hot water. There's a light up there. All right, and now the best part of it all is this balcony. We got a coffee maker, a cooking plate. There's a full-size refrigerator. And there's our table. Our bike's parked here. I'll be posting a video about this bike soon. Not quite done working on it yet. And there's Barbara's bike. And we have a clothesline to dry our stuff. It dries really good here. We also have a nice view of the entire street and, of course, a mountain up there. So this place I just showed you, this is our home for the next month and a half or so. We are in Puerto Vallarta. And what I found when we first booked our trip is the flight here was the cheapest one we could find anywhere south. We also took a discount airline, which probably helped. But then once we searched around for places to stay, well, it started off that, first of all, we don't know the area, but we just kind of did booking.com kind of thing. So the first five nights we were in a very nice place, but it costs us the equivalent of $500 for five nights. So this is $100 a night. It's uh, probably not bad for when you compare it to places in the United States and in Canada. This is Canadian money I'm talking. So in US dollars, this is only $75 a night. But to stay somewhere for two months at this kind of price, you can't really do it unless you are very well off, which, you know, it's always relative, but we are definitely not rich. So we had to find something a little more affordable. Now, what I did in order to do that is um, I searched on the internet again. When you do a search online and you avoid the sites that are very common in the United States and Canada and stuff, I found one and I had to search in, in Spanish. We found this place and the price was, uh, it came up to about 600 pesos per night here online so because we hadn't seen the place at all I booked it for one week 
which came up to uh, the equivalent of $400 Canadian, which is okay, I think, but it's uh, not super bargain or anything. And also, we didn't know where this was located, except we saw it on the map, and it's a bit outside of the city. To get there from here, you have a, a walk of about, I would say, probably 20 minutes, half an hour, which is fine. We also got bicycles, but there are cobblestone roads here. And this hill, I don't think neither one of us is going to go up here on the bike. It's pretty steep. But we tried it out for a week. I mean, you've seen it. I don't know what you think about it, but we love it here. It's very quiet most of the time. We get some dogs barking. The cars, when they go up the hill, sometimes they're loud. There's somebody with a 4x4 here that's got a muffler problem. And it's loud, but it's only like 30 seconds at a time, if that. So most of the time, it's good here. And we sleep well. The bed's good. Everything's fine. So I figured, you know, we need this place for a month and a half. But still, at 600 pesos per night, it's quite pricey for that long a duration. But I figured if we asked these people if we would commit to a month and a half, like I told them how many days we're still staying in Puerto Vallarta, and what would be the price for this place? And then, well, they came back with an offer that was significantly better than we would have paid through the platform. So I guess the key is try out the place, see if you like it, and then ask the people nicely, and voila, now we have a home here, and it feels kind of amazing, you know. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's comfortable enough for us to feel at ease here, you know, and it's a good neighborhood. They're just uh, ordinary people living here. A couple of stores down the street I'll have to still show you later. At night, there's on occasion a uh, couple of taco stands that are open, if we want more, we walk across this major road and there's all kinds of stores and restaurants and cafes. Everything's here. So we're feeling quite good about it. Let me know what you think in the comment section and, well, I'll have more videos about this place and I'm working on my bike still. So there'll be a video about that. It was quite the ordeal, but Basically, the bike's functional, it's good. There's a couple of things that I still have to do, but the major stuff's done. So, this'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment, click the like button, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, well, you're always welcome to do so. I appreciate, I appreciate it big it time. time.